Mark, another penalty shootout victory, but you're happy that it went to penalties? Uh, no, of course not. But the performance was really good tonight. Really pleased. Really, I'm, I'm a bit. We're all a little bit miffed that it went to what how it did. It ended like it did, but the performance didn't warrant that. We were excellent tonight. We were solid. We were. Listen, they got some big lads thrown on at the end, and we've not defended a corner. Um, but I thought we were excellent. I thought we played some really good football. We, we we caused them real problems, and for 92 minutes, we were really difficult to break down. You've said for a while now, Marley, you wanted your team to play well in both halves. Do you think that you got I that thought, tonight? I got that tonight, yeah. I, th I think we've got to forget the last two minutes. I think for, for the boys, sanity, my sanity, and for, for confidence going into the next couple of, couple of days, building up to Saturday, I think, I think we've, I've got to forgive them the last couple of minutes in terms of coming back. I mean, we've got to learn from it, obviously, not, not just brushing under the carpet, but you know, a couple of decisions where, at the top end of the pitch where if we just keep the ball or, or stick our asses into it in the, in the corner flag and don't let them out, you know, we're not we're not talking now about conceding the late goal. So things th again, things to do. But but I think it was our our most controlled performance of the season. Where you know I'm, I'm watching the game and I'm not seeing chance after chance for the opposition, which was was really pleasing. You made new, numerous changes, Mike. You brought in the likes of Miles Welsh, Hayes, Keith Lowe, Pete Vincenzi. Have they given you a headache? Yes. Yeah, no. Well, um, no, they give me a headache. They'll give me a. So we're always planning on playing this system, this this game, to have a look at it. I think it suits the players we've got. Um, we haven't been happy with the number of goals that we've conceded, particularly away from home. Uh, I think we've got the personnel to play this system. We've got work to do on it because we've only had a day doing it really. Um, and I think I think we've played some really good football as well as looking compact, organised, and, and solid. And, that, and that's what we want. That's what we need at the minute. We're not going to be you know, Barcelona straight away. We're not going to just go from you know, not winning in six league games to, to tippy tappy football, opening teams up. But when we play good, effective football like we did today, I think the supporters will be happy. We scored a couple of really good goals and um, play some really good football as well. Looking forward to Saturday. Yeah. Mark, Steve, can't come soon enough. Um, obviously, there's going to be a tough task, but it's going to be one we're going to be up for, isn't it? Oh, massively, yeah. yeah. I just said yeah, my only instructions before the game today was. And, we, and we'd had a good chat Saturday, we'd had a good chat on, on Monday. It was I just want a team of men. And not that the ones out of the team aren't men, but we need to stand up and be counted. No, you know, we've not made the start we wanted. So it was important that we put in a performance that that that, that showed the supporters that we care. We, we undoubtedly care. The players undoubtedly care. This morning. I know all my staff do. But it's ultimately it's about picking up points and I think the performance today warranted a win but also gives us hope going into the next few games. Thanks, Matt. All right.